welcome i welcome you all to this lecture in the course samasa in paninian grammar 2 as is our practice we begin our lecture with the recitation of the mangala charana vishvesham sachidanandam vandeham yokhilan jagat chari karti bari bharti संजरी हरती लीलया विश्वेशम सच्चिदानंदम वंदेहम योखिलन जगत चरी करति बरी भरति संजरी हरति लीलया इन दिस कोर्स वी आर स्टडिंग द थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट टाइप्स ऑफ समास इन संस्कृत namely the avyay bhava samasa bahuvrihi samasa and the dvandva samasa currently we are focused on the study of the bahuvrihi samasa bahuvrihi samasa is an extremely important type of samasa its structure can be explained in brief in the form of an equation shown on this slide where we have x plus y and the result is xy x and y are both independent entities in terms of their word form as well as their meaning as well as the accent there is this plus sign which indicates that they are semantically related the speaker of sanskrit decides to merge them together and generates an output which is one unit namely x y this generated one output can also be shown to be related to its constituents x y this one unit has got three features namely aikarthyata or ekarthata aikarthya or ekarthata aikapadya or ekapadata and aikasvarya or ekasvarata now in the bahuvrihi samasa none of the constituents that is x and y play the role of the head in xy and that is the reason why none of the two is marked in the bold characters in the avyayi bhava samasa where the initial member of the samasa acts as the head we marked x in the bold and in the tatpurusha samasa where the second member or the final member of the samasa acts as the head we marked y as the head in the bold characters not so in the bahuvrihi samasa because the head of the samasa lies outside of the samasa anya padartha pradhana is the feature of the bahuvrihi samasa in the ashtadhyayi bahuvrihi samasa is stated at different places samasa vidhayaka sutra that is the sutras prescribing the samasa are stated from 2 to 23 that is shesho bahuvrihi onwards up to 2 to 28 tena saheti tulya yoge charthe dvandva incidentally is 2 to 29 and then we have the samasanta pratyaya vidhayaka sutras stated from 54113 up to 54160 the swara vidhayaka sutras related to bahuvrihi samasa are stated in 6.2 6.2.1 is bahuvriha prakritya purvapadam 6.2.106 and 6 up to 6.2.120 is another such section and 62162 onwards up to 62177 is the other section dealing with the sutras prescribing the accent on the bahuvrihi samasa we have already studied the samasa vidhayaka sutras and now we are studying the samasanta pratyaya vidhayaka sutras related to the bahuvrihi samasa samasanta pratyaya we have already studied a number of sutras stating the 
samasanta pratyaya at to be added at the end of the bahuvrihi samasa let us continue some more the first one we study in this lecture is 54124 which says dharmad anich kevalat 54124 dharmad anich kevalat what this sutra means is the following in the bahuvrihi samasa immediately after the word dharma meaning property or duty which is preceded by a loan word the samasanta pratyaya anich is added i repeat in the bahuvrihi samasa immediately after the word dharma meaning property or duty which is preceded by a loan word the samasanta pratyaya anich is added anich stands for an where ch is its saudnyaka ch is a marker and e is there for the sake of the pronunciation the word kevala here indicates that this compound has only two constituents and not many more and this samasanta pratyaya is not added when there are more than two constituents so here is an example the meaning to be conveyed is one whose property or one whose duty is auspiciousness kalyanah dharmah yasya sah this is the laukika vigraha so now we have the alaukika vigraha kalyana plus su plus dharma plus su the samasa is affected by anekam anya padarthe so the alaukika vigraha is kalyana plus su plus dharma plus su so samasa saudnya takes place so now we add this anich at the end of this samasa so we have kalyana plus su plus dharma plus su plus anich then the pratipadika saudnya takes place and then supadhatu pratipadika yoho applies so we delete both the sups so we have kalyana plus 0 plus dharma plus 0 plus an so we have kalyana plus dharma plus an and then because of this a in an the final a in dharma gets deleted because of yasya teacher 64148 and so we have kalyana dharma plus an and when we join them together we get the finally derived bahuvrihi samasa output namely kalyana dharman ending in na then we add the su pratyaya after it to be used in the sentence so kalyana dharman plus su and then this su becomes the condition for the lengthening of the penultimate vowel in kalyana dharman so now we have kalyana dharman and this lengthening is affected by the sutra sarvanama sthane cha sambuddhau 648 nantasya upadhayah dirghasya dasambuddhau sarvanama sthane pare and then we have kalyana dharman plus su so here the sutra algya bhyo dirgha suti sapruktam hal applies and deletes the su pratyaya and so now we have kalyana dharman and then applies the sutra nalopa pratipadikantasya which also deletes na so we get the form kalyana dharma kalyana dharma this is the form with the suffix anich added after it the point to be remembered over here is that the word dharma is the uttara pada before which there is only one pada kalyana so kalyana is that kevala pada had there been one more pada the anich pratyaya wouldn't have been added we now move towards the next sutra 54125 jambha suharita trina somebhya the meaning of the sutra is that in the bahuvrihi samasa immediately after the word jambha meaning food or tooth which is preceded by the word su harita trina and soma the samasanta pratyaya anich is added i repeat in the bahuvrihi samasa immediately after the word jambha meaning food or tooth which is preceded by su 
ஹரித திருண அண்ட் சோம த சமாசாந்த பிரத்யய அனிச் இஸ் ஆடெட் ஸோ இட் பிகம்ஸ் வெரி சிம்பிள் ஸோ குட் டூத் ஆர் குட் டீத் அண்ட் யூ ஹேவ் த வேர்ட் சுஜம்பன் அண்ட் சுஜம்பா இஸ் த நாமினேட்டிவ் சிங்குலர் கிரீன் ஃபூட் அண்ட் இட் இஸ் கால்ட் ஹரித ஜம்பன் ஒன் ஹூ ஹேஸ் அ கிரீன் ஃபூட் ஒன் ஹூ ஹேஸ் கிராஸ் ஆஸ் ஃபூட் so we have trana jamban and one who has soma as food is called soma jamban so jamba is the word ending in a which is now turned to end in n and the prathama ekavachana is sujamba harita jamba trana jamba and soma jamba ending in long a Let us now move, move to 54126, which is Dakshinayarma Lubdha Yoga. The meaning of this sutra is the following. In the Bahuvrihi Samasa, immediately after the word Irma, meaning wound, which is preceded by the word Dakshina, the Samasanta Pratyaya Anich is added when the association with the hunter is intended. I repeat, in the Bahuvrihi Samasa, immediately after the word Irma, meaning wound, which is preceded by the word Dakshina, the Samasanta Pratyaya Anich is added when the association with the hunter is indicate, intended. So the word is Dakshina Irma and then you add the suffix Anich to it and you get the form Dakshina Irman. and then dakshinayarma the prathama ekavachana the laukika vigraha is dakshinam irmam yasya saha margaha dakshinam angam vranitam yasya vyadhena ityarthah whose right part is wounded by the hunter that is what is the meaning dakshinayarman or dakshinayarma lubdha yoge Let us now move ahead to the next sutra which is Dvidandya Dibhyascha which means the following. In the Bahubrihi Samasas, Dvidandi etc. the Samasanta Pratyaya Ich is added. I repeat, in the Bahubrihi Samasas, Dvidandi etc. the Samasanta Pratyaya Ich is added. So for example, Dvidandi Praharati. dvau dandau praharane yasmin he who has two sticks strikes these are semantically bahuvrihi samasas but formally are treated as and also noted as avyayi bhava samasas in the sutra tishthagu pravruti niche here is a list of dvidandyati dvidandi dvimusali ubhanjali உபயாஞ்சலி உபாக்கரணி உபயாக்கரணி உபாதந்தி உபயாதந்தி உபாஹஸ்தி உபயாஹஸ்தி உபாபாணி உபயாபாணி உபாபாஹு உபயாபாஹு ஏகபதி புரோயபதி ஆட்யபதி சபதி நிகுச்சகரணி அண்ட் சம்ஹத புச்சி தீஸ் ஆர் திவிதண்டி which have this samasanta suffix ich added to them at the end of the samasa after this sutra there is a bunch of sutras stating the samasanta adesha which we shall study in the next lecture so we now move to 54151 which starts re studying the pratyayas that are added at the end of a bahuvrihi samasa so 54151 is ura prabhrati bhya kap meaning in the bahuvrihi samasas immediately after the word uras etc the samasanta pratyaya kap is added kap means ka there are some words in this group which are stated in the pada form prathama ekavachana e prathama ekavachana that is to indicate the fact that 
the samasanta pratyaya is added only when singularity is denoted by the samas. Let us look at the example. One who has broad chest, when that meaning is to be conveyed, when the laukika vigraha is vyudham uraha yasya saha, vyudham uraha yasya saha. The alaukika vigraha is vyudha plus su plus uras plus su. Then we add the suffix kap here. So vyudha plus su plus uras plus su plus kap. Then we apply the pratipadika saudhnya. So then supodhatu pratipadika yoho applies and deletes both the sups. So we have vyudha plus zero plus uras plus zero plus ka. And when we join them together, we get the form vyudho uras ka. When we use it in the sentence, we have vyudho raska plus su and then vyudho raskaha as the prathama ekavachana, vyudho rasko vrishaskandhaha shalapranshur mahabhujaha as Kalidasa uses this word in his famous Raghuvamsha, vyudho raska. Similarly, one who loves ghee, priyam sarpihi yasyasaha and here we have Priyam Sarpihi Yasya Saha as the Laukika Vigraha and the Alaukika Vigraha is Priya plus Su plus Sarpi, Sarpis plus Su and then the Samasa Saudhnya takes place so the suffix Kap is added and then the Pratipadika Saudhnya takes place and Supodhatu Pratipadika Yoho applies and then we have Priya Sarpishka as the resultant finally derived Samasa form Priya Sarpishka when we use it in the sentence, we add the suffix su to it, so we get priya sarpishkaha. Now, what are the members of this list? They are uras, sarpis, upanaha, anadvan, nauhu, payaha, lakshmihi, dadhi, madhu and Shali. Apart from these words, there is one more statement, Arthat Nayaha, which means immediately after the word Artha at the suffix Ka, when it is preceded by Nay, that is Na. So we have Anarthaka derived by adding the suffix Kap here to the word Artha preceded by Nay. Anarthak, purposeless. This is an exception to the optional suffix stated by Sheshad Vibhasha later on, that is 54154. Let us go to the next sutra, Inaha Striyam, that is 54152. Inaha Striyam. The meaning of this sutra is in the Bahuvrihi Samasas, immediately after the words ending in in, the Samasanta Pratyayaka is added when feminine gender is denoted by the compound. I repeat, in the Bahubrihi Samasas, immediately after the words ending in in, the Samasanta Pratyaya Kap is added when feminine gender is denoted by the compound. Kap means ka, pa is the marker. Now, the words ending in in are following vag, gmin, chat, Trin, Dandin and Swamin. But the question is, does in mean anything in these forms? And is it the meaningful in that is referred to in the Sutra Inaha or not? For that, the solution given by the tradition is the following. The Paribhasha Sutra, but the Paribhasha quoted on the slide says, Anin Asman Grahanani Arthavata Chanartha Kenacha Words ending in an, in, us and man, where an, in, us and man are meaningful or not meaningful, they do refer to the word that ends in them. That is, words ending in an, in, us and man are rep what represent in that particular place. So, the word in in the sutra also refers to the in in Vagmin, Chatrin, Dandin and Swamin. Here is an example. The meaning to be conveyed is an assembly consisting of many orators. 
बहवः वाग मिनह यस्याम सा सभा दिस इज द लौकिक विग्रह सो वी हैव द अलौकिक विग्रह बहु प्लस चस प्लस वाग मिन प्लस चस एंड देन वी एट द सफिक्स कप टू देम सो वी हैव बहु प्लस चस प्लस वाग मिन प्लस चस प्लस कप देन प्रातिवधिक संज्ञा टेक्स प्लेस एंड डिलीट्स बोथ द सुप्स सो वी हैव बहु प्लस जीरो प्लस वाग मिन प्लस जीरो प्लस क and then we bring all these elements together and we have bahu vag min k and then the, this na gets deleted because of nalupa pratipadika antasya and so on finally we get the form bahu vag mik as the output of this samasa bahu vrihi samasa so bahu vag mik then we are to use it in the sentence we add the suffix su after it so we have bahu vag mik plus su and then we add the suffix ta after bahuvagmik because the anya padartha is feminine so we have bahuvagmik plus ta plus su and finally we get bahuvagmik plus ta and su gets deleted and when we join them together we get the form bahuvagmika the feminine form similarly we get bahuvagmi and bahuvagmikah both optional forms if it is masculine बहुवाग्मी एंड बहुवाग्मी कहा राजा मूविंग अहेड द नेक्स्ट सूत्र इज न दृतश्च मीनिंग इन द बहुव्रीही समास इमीडिएटली आफ्टर द वर्ड्स एनिंग इन नदी एंड द वर्ड एंड द वॉवेल शॉर्ट रू द समासांत प्रत्यय कप इज एडेड एंड व्हाट इज नदी इज आल्सो एक्सप्लेन हियर words denoting feminine gender and ending in long e and long u stated by the sutra yu strakyo nadi 143 after we apply the suffix k after nadi that is dirgha e and dirgha u we apply the sutra kena ke pare anurhasvasyat by 7413 that is 13 and then also na kapi when the suffix cup is there the lengthening should not happen which is stated by 741414 14. here is an example a place which has many young girls that is the meaning to be conveyed so the laukika vigraha is bhavyah kumaryah yasmin sadeshah now the alaukika vigraha is bhavhi plus jasu plus kumari plus jasu both the words bhavhi and kumari they are derived they are derived after adding the feminine suffix e after them so bhavi plus jas plus kumari plus jas then samasa saudhya has taken place so pratipadika saudhya takes place and then we apply supodhatu pratipadika yoho so we get bhavi plus 0 plus kumari plus 0 plus k so when we join these together since bhavi and kumari both are in samanadhikarana and so the pumad bhav takes place and so we have bahu plus 0 plus kumari plus 0 plus k so we have bahu kumari k as the finally derived compound output when we add the suffix su after it so we have bahu kumari k plus su and so we get the final form bahu kumari k similarly a place which has many agents if this meaning is to be conveyed then we have bahavah karta raha yasmin sah as the meaning as the laukika vigrah and then this gets transformed into alaukika vigrah bahu plus jas plus kartru plus jas and then we add the suffix kap over here so we have bahu plus jas plus kartru plus jas plus kap and then supodhatu pratipadika yo applies and so we have bahu plus 0 plus kartru plus 0 plus k and then when we join all of these together we get the form bahu kartruk and then when we want to use it in the sentence we say bahu kartruk plus su as a result bahu kartrukah that is the output of this sutra urap prabhritibhya kap then we have sheshad vibhasha 54154 sheshad vibhasha 
the meaning of this sutra is in the bahuvrihi samasas where no other samasanta pratyaya is stated the samasanta pratyaya cup is added optionally and then the following two sutras aponyatrasyam 7415 and gostriyorupasarjanasya 1248 play a key role in deriving the forms of this particular sutra so the meaning to be conveyed is a place which has many lutes bhavya veena yasmin saha this is the laukika vigraha the alaukika vigraha is bhavhi plus jas plus veena plus jas and then samasa saudhya takes place so we add the samasa anta pratyaya cup over here so we have bhavhi plus jas plus veena plus jas plus cup and then we apply the pratyadika saudhya so suppose hatuk pratyadika yoga applies so we have bhavhi plus zero plus veena plus zero plus k and when we join them together we get the form bahu veena k and then this long vowel at the end of the samasa is shortened and so we get bahu veena k as the form derived so we have these forms bahu veena k as well as bahu veena bahu veena is the one when we don't add the suffix cup to summarize the samasanta pratyaya is a peculiar operation stated to the bahuvrihi samasa it is added to specific words with specific formal conditions as well as semantic conditions it is also stated optionally after certain words and always after some other words the samasanta pratyaya added to the bahuvrihi samasa has several functions it changes the final form of the compound from vowel ending to consonant ending etc it also acts as a condition for particular accent and it also acts as a condition for adding of a particular feminine suffix we continue studying the samasanta pratyayas and then the adeshas in the next lecture these are the texts referred to thank you very much